My name is Daniel M. Nolan, 4th degree black belt in the Korean martial art of Tang Sado, and my students and I will demonstrate the kicking techniques of Tang Sudo. Mr. Clay Setzer will demonstrate some stretching techniques essential in proper kicking. Bending over, keeping the leg straight without bending the knees. Mr. Setzer is grabbing onto his ankles and now pushing his palms down to the grass. Again, working the lower back muscles and the back of the legs. Sitting down, pushing himself forward, holding onto his feet, and again, loosening up the lower back muscles and the legs. Tucking the right knee under and pushing the body forward. Again, working the right leg along with the left. Working the opposite side, tucking the left foot under and pushing himself forward while still holding on to his ankle. Now from this position here, the right leg is extended back and again, he's pushing himself in a downward position. Again, working many muscles of the lower back area. And again, Mr. Setzer repeats the same procedure to the other side. Again, while doing these exercises, maintain proper breathing. Tucking one leg underneath the other and twisting the back in a yoga position. Again, working the lower back muscles and the upper back muscles. Changing sides and working the same position from the opposite angle. Again, twisting the lower back muscles, keeping the back nice and limber. From this position here, he goes into the plow, keeping the legs straight, balls of the feet touching the ground, arms extended out, bringing the legs upward, holding in that position, putting the weight on the shoulders, and again, pushing the legs in a downward position. From there, Mr. Setzer is going into a split position. His forehead is touching the left knee and his forehead is now touching the right knee. Keep in mind, try not to bend the knees. And moving forward, pushing himself downward, resting on his elbows. From there, working a front snap kick. Lesson number two, basic and intermediate kicking techniques of Tang Zido. From the ready position. Stepping back, right foot is behind. Working the front snap kick to the body. Taking your time, extending the hip outward and kicking with the ball of the foot. Changing positions. Again, working slow. And again, ball of the foot striking to the midsection or chest area. Changing once again. Front snap kick to the chin, to the throat. Snapping outward, extension of the hip. Eye contact, too, is very important. Facing now, Mr. Tom Snowden. Again, I will demonstrate the front snap kick. Once to the body, slowing the movement down, and now thrusting outward. Changing positions. Again, working the left side, front snap kick. Ball of the foot, thrusting out, and again, completing the movement. Front snap kick to the face or to the chin level. Snapping outward, and again, changing. Keeping your eye always on your partner. And again, front snap kick. 
From this position here, we can see where the front snap kick to the midsection is going. And note that we are kicking with the ball of the foot, not with the toes or not with the instep. Again, the front snap kick going to the throat, working the ball of the foot, hitting the target. From the back stance position, moving forward, front snap kick in slow motion, ball of the foot, and landing in a defensive position. Front snap kick moving forward to the body. Stepping back, preparing again. Front snap kick, and again, front snap kick. Once more, slow motion, front snap kick, return, and step forward. When you do the front snap kick, try to bring the knee at least most of the way back before you step in. Now this is the reverse front snap kick, or also known as P-chuggy. Again, working with the ball of the foot, and you're twisting the foot off on a slight angle. Another variation of the front snap kick. Again, working the body with the reverse front snap kick. Twisting and putting the ankle behind the kick. Working now the left side with the P-chuggy, snapping it outward, and returning. Introducing Tanksido Black Belt, Mr. Kurt McLeland. From a front stance position, working the side kick to the body. Again, snapping it out to the midsection, changing stance, side kick with the heel of the foot, noting that the toes are also pointed back. Try to concentrate as much energy as you can in the side of the foot and thrust the hip and your entire body behind the kick. And Mr. McLellan is pivoting on the ball of his leading leg. Working now with Mr. Zaberic. Mr. McLellan again is demonstrating the side kick to the body. And now thrusting out, returning to the knee and back to the original starting position. Changing stance, demonstrating again the side kick to the body, focusing power and concentration into the heel and side of the foot. Once again, striking and thrusting outward with the side of the foot. From the ready position, high side kick. Kick used for striking the face, throat area, even the forehead. But bear in mind you have to be very good to practice these kicks. Constant practice in order to get perfection. Again, side kick in a high position and returning to your fighting stance. Working again with a partner, side kick holding the leg out, return, and back again. Side kick again, thrusting outward, and returning to the starting position. Changing. Again, slowly work the side kick to the head. And now thrusting out, and once again, Notice the foot, the toes are pointed backward. The heel and side of the foot is where the power concentration should be attained.
from the ready position, stepping in and doing a side kick. So the back leg steps behind the leading leg and you thrust the leg outward to the body and return to a fighting stance as you're stepping forward. Again, from that position, with the left foot being in front, stepping in, side kick to the body, return to the knee, and step forward. Total concentration is required. And again, thrusting outward to the body and returning to a fighting position. Keeping the body protected while thrusting the foot outward. And again, working now with a partner, thrusting the leg outward to the body, side kick, and stepping in again, thrusting outward to your partner. And of course, landing in a very defensive position. Working the other side, again, side kick to the body, stepping forward, thrusting out, returning, and once again, side of the foot to the body or rib cage area. Getting ready again, side kick, now attacking the throat, head area of the body, and stepping forward. From that ready position, stepping in quickly, step behind, thrust out, and back to the ready stance again. One, and again, stepping and thrusting. Keep in mind, you have to stretch. You cannot attain the stretching overnight. The kicking abilities are dependent upon your daily stretching routine. So you must develop a very good strong stretching routine in order to attain this type of kicking ability. So while practicing the martial arts, at least devote some time every day to stretching. Again, continuing with the side thrust kick to the face area and stepping back. Again with the other side, stepping forward, side kick, and again thrust out and thrust out once more and return. Mr. Clay sets her again from the ready position, turn kick to the body, pivoting on the forward foot, which happens to be the left, and kicking with the ball of the foot to the body, bringing the knee up as you pivot, returning to the, your starting position. Changing stances, now you will be pivoting on the ball of the right leg as you bring the left leg up and turn kick to the body with the ball of the foot. Again, pivoting, bringing the knee up, stretching and following up with a turn kick. Working now with a partner, facing each other from the ready position. Again, turn kick to the side of the head and return. So once again, stretching is very important to attain these powerful kicks. Now working the other side. Again, turn kick and return to the fighting position. Once more, demonstrating the turn kick. Proper balance and concentration are maintained pivoting, bringing the knee up, and thrusting around in a circular movement.
from the ready position. Again, turn kick. with the top of the foot, also known as the instep of the foot. So instead of kicking with the ball of the foot, we're kicking with the top of the foot, the instep. Again, coming around, twisting on the right leg, coming upward, and strike and return. Once more, pivoting bringing the left knee up and striking with the instep of the left foot. Facing your partner. Again, working the body, the midsection, striking to the kidney area with the instep of the foot. Thrusting the hip out, hitting the target, returning to the ready position. Changing stance again. Turn kick to the body with the instep. Working the kidney area, side of the rib cage, midsection. Once more, keep the hands close to the body. And here we have a demonstration of the turn kick with the ball of the foot. And again, you have several areas that you can attack with the ball of the foot. And again, with the instep to the side of the head, either attacking the neck, the temple area, or the facial area. From the ready position, stepping in turn kick to the midsection with the ball of the foot. Again, stepping forward with the rear leg and kicking with the forward leg. Stepping in, rear leg moving forward and across, kicking with the ball of the left foot. Remember also, it's very important that you keep your hands close to the body. Don't have your arms all over every, everywhere else. Keep the arms very close to the body and protect yourself while you are kicking. From a different angle, the turn kick to the body, stepping forward. Again, moving inward, keeping your eye on your opponent, and stepping forward. Working now with a partner. Turn kick to the body, stepping forward. Again, bring the knee up, don't let it drag. Stepping in, twist, thrust out, and make contact. Returning to your starting position. In slow motion, ball of the foot, works the rib cage as you step forward. Again, moving in, lifting the right knee, striking with the ball of the foot, and return as your partner moves backward. Once more, ball of the foot, and down. Ready to go again. Pivot on the, your left leg, striking with your right foot. Ready? From the opposite position. Stepping forward with the right leg, pivoting, and turn kick to the body with the left foot. And stepping down, ready to go again. Moving in, bring that knee up. Thrust, strike with the ball of the foot. As your partner now moves backward, Taking a large step forward, bridge the gap between you and your partner. Stepping in, and again, down. Once more, again, bridge the gap. Use your length of the legs. All right, put the legs to your advantage while you're stepping forward. You've got a longer reach with the legs, so start using it. And stepping down. Now stepping in turn kick with the instep of the foot and now we're striking 
the head or facial area of the body. Moving forward, striking, and returning to a very strong position after you attack. Again, slow motion, eye contact very important, concentration important. Strike with the instep of the foot and return. Working the other side, stepping in, striking with the left foot and back, pivoting on the right leg, bringing your left knee up as high as you can and strike. Moving forward, once more, stepping in, slow motion, bringing the knee up, twisting the hip, again, keeping the arms close to the body and striking with the left leg. Working with a partner, turn kick with the instep of the foot, once more, strike and again, pivoting on your left foot, striking with the right leg and right instep. Opposite side now. Again, moving forward, strike. And again, in slow motion, twisting on the ball of the right foot and kicking with the left instep. Kicking bringing the knee up and returning, stepping forward, bridge the gap again, striking, your opponent moves backward, and again, step in, work on your reach, and step forward. In step of the foot, and down, ready to go again if necessary once more, followed by a back fist to the face and reverse middle punch to the body. Turn kick, back fist and reverse punch using instep, followed by turn kick, back fist and reverse middle punch. Turn kick, back fist and now middle punch again turn kick, back fist, and reverse middle punch. Stepping forward, and as you come down, strike with the back fist, and follow upward with a reverse punch to the body. Mr. Z Bob Zabarek, first degree black belt, Tang Sado. Outside to inside kick. Now this kick here, you can utilize either kicking with the flat of the foot, with the side of the foot, or even with the ball of the foot. Several variations of this one kick. Mr. Zaberic is coming around from the outside to the inside, and stepping back to his starting position. Working with a partner, striking upward and across and either working with the bottom of the foot, side of the foot, or just the ball of the foot. Again, changing positions, working the left side, outside to inside, snapping it across, and returning to the original starting position. Once more, across, and back. From the ready position again, inside to outside, snapping kick. So from the inside to the outside, bringing the knee up, across the face, and returning the leg. Working the opposite side, demonstrating this technique, inside to outside, snapping it across, working the side of the foot, 
returning across again and back. Demonstrating with a partner, inside to outside, snapping it across. Very good. Coming over and down. Again, working with your partner, the left leg, snapping it across and back. Bring the knee up. Eye contact, again, very important. And return. Lesson number three, advanced kicking techniques in the art of Tang Sudo. from the ready position. Stepping back into a fighting stance or back stance. Outside to inside. Axe kick, as it's often called. Bringing the weight up and then thrusting yourself forward, bringing your foot in a downward position. Now this kick here can be used striking with either the ball of the foot or the heel of the foot coming downward. Two variations from the outside to the inside as a hammer kick, either striking with the ball of the foot or the heel of the foot coming down on your opponent. Bringing the leg up, now working with a partner, back fist, ridge hand, and outside to inside hammer kick. Thrusting downward now with the ball of the foot and strike. Back fist, ridge hand, and axe kick. Again in slow motion, rid after the back hand we do a ridge hand attack. Coming up, striking down, and put your full weight on the ball of your foot as you come downward. Returning again, hand techniques, still keeping your eye on your partner, bringing the leg up from the outside and thrusting downward, and returning. Once more, outside to inside, striking downward with the ball of the foot. Keeping in mind that you can attack either with the ball of the foot or the heel of the foot. But make sure you have proper control of your technique at all times. Now working the other side. Again, I am demonstrating the outside to inside kick or hammer kick. And followed up with a backhand strike and then ridge hand. So beginning with a kicking technique and follow through with hand techniques. Outside, inside, back fist, and ridge hand attack to the temple. In slow motion, thrusting down to the chest. My back hand attack goes under and I follow through with a ridge hand to the temple. Now inside to outside axe kick. Working the hip, twisting the hip, and stepping in and downward. Now working the other side, inside to outside, thrusting downward. Again in slow motion, thrusting downward as I step forward, putting my weight on the ball of my foot as I come down. again and strike. Now working with a partner, inside to outside, hammer kick, followed up with a back fist and palm attack to the face. So again, strike, backhand and palm attack. Slow motion, striking to the chest, back fist and palm attack to either the nose, the face or the chin from the ready position again. 
stepping in heel kick. Now this time we're swinging the leg over and using the heel of the foot as the striking instrument to your opponent. Stepping over, across, and strike. And returning to the ready position. Now the other side. Heel of the foot. Stepping in and behind. And with the heel of the left foot as a striking surface hitting your opponent. Again, moving forward, slow motion. Bringing the knee upward. And back to a strong, ready position. Once more and downward in the on guard position. Now working with a partner. Total concentration. Stepping in and across. Again, heel of the foot, stepping forward and back again. In slow motion, heel returning, bringing the knee upward. Now the other position, the other side, stepping across and using the heel of the left foot as your weapon. And again, slow motion, over and across, and return to the starting position. Again, Stepping over and across and using the heel of the foot to strike your opponent. Bring that knee upward. Again, constant stretching is a must. Is a must, so please do it. Mr. Setzer demonstrating a back kick while moving forward. Again, back kick to the body spinning, turning, look, and bring the kicking leg upward and thrust outward. Very similar to a side kick, except you are turning the body, bringing that kicking knee upward and thrusting out. Working now with a partner, the side kick position. Now turning, back kick, and return. So you want to thrust out thrust out with the back kick. Again in slow motion, thrusting out with the back kick and returning to your starting position. Thrusting out, look, see where your opponent is, strike outward with the side of the foot and return. Ready to go again if necessary. Once more, Mr. Setzer strikes out and returns. Spinning, twisting the hip, putting the shoulders behind the actual turn and hit. Extremely well-placed kick. Very good. It's one kick that many people will not see coming if they've never practiced it or have never seen it before. It's a very deceptive kick because you're twisting the body and striking outward. Once more, twisting the hip, look to see where that guy is, and then strike out. Now, from a back stance position, spinning heel kick. So again, twisting 360 degrees, spinning with the heel of the right leg, striking outward, and return to your starting position. It is a very hard kick to master, but with constant practice, you can do it. Again, twisting on the ball of the left foot, bringing that right knee up, and hitting with the heel of the right foot. So in slow motion, the kick is still done in a very fast manner. Again, now with the other side of the body, 
spinning heel kick. So both sides of the body have to be worked on all your kicks. You cannot favor one side of the body over the other. You should be able to kick with both legs. Now working with a partner, spinning heel kick, and around again. Now speeding up the movement, and now in a slow motion, spinning heel kick. Again working with a partner, spinning heel kick now with the left leg, once again, all the way around, heel of the foot as a striking instrument. Concentrating, facing your opponent, strike outward, and return. Once more. Now from this view here, we're seeing exactly where the heel kick goes. From the ready position. Again, Mr. Setzer is demonstrating the spinning kick. and returning to the ready position. Once more, twisting the hips, turning, see where your opponent is, and finish your opponent off with that spinning heel kick. Now the opposite side. Again, keep the arms close to the body as much as possible and follow through with the spinning kick. Working now with a partner, again, spinning kick, and this time we are kicking with the flat of the foot as a spinning kick. So instead of the heel, we're working with the flat of the foot. Same principle as far as turning, twisting the hip, looking to see where your opponent is, except now with out using the heel of the foot or using the flat of the foot. The spinning wheel kick demonstrated here by Mr. Bob Zaberic. Spinning on the forward leg, twisting, bringing the knee up, thrusting the foot outward, and you're hitting your opponent with the side of your foot, the knife edge of the foot. Working the other direction now, the spinning wheel kick, Bring the leg up and return. Once more, bringing the leg, knee up, the side of the foot and back. Demonstrating the jumping side kick. Taking a number of steps forward. Bring the knees up and striking with the side of the foot before you land on the ground. Once again, looking, see where your opponent is. Jump up, key up, and strike. Key up is very important. Helps build power and confidence. Again, moving up, spring. Just as if you were on a trampoline. Jump up and strike. Lesson number four kicking and punching, sparring combinations in the art of Tang Sudo. From the ready position, high punch, front snap kick to the body, backhand, and ridge hand. Again, front kick, followed by hand techniques. Once more, high punch, front kick, back fist, and ridge hand. So the high punch goes to the head. Faking technique, now to the body. Followed by a back fist and ridge hand to the temple. Returning to the ready position after the front snap kick. Here, it's thrusting out. Back hand to the temple or the side of the head and ridge hand to the temple. Again, high punch, front kick, front kick again, back fist, and pseudo or chop to the side of the neck. Thrusting out, 
thrusting out back fist and pseudo to the side of the neck. It's fast speed now and attack. High punch, front kick, front kick, back fist, and chop to the side of the neck. Slow motion. Stepping forward after the first kick. And as I step inward, look, see where my opponent is, and finish with hand techniques. Again from the ready position, I grab his leading hand. High punch, front kick, turn kick to the body, palm upward and reverse high punch. Again I grab, kicking techniques followed up by punching techniques. Grab one, two, three, punch, punch. Slow motion, high punch. Use it as a faking technique. You got a hold of him. Front kick under the arm. Return, left leg, Turn kick to the body, palm upward when I punch to the middle, and a straight front punch to the face. Demonstrating again. Once more, high punch, front snap kick with the right leg, return, turn kick with the left leg, stepping forward, middle punch, and high punch. Now again, working with your partner, high punch, front snap kick to the body, and outside to inside axe kick, followed by a backhand attack. Outside, inside, and backhand. Demonstrating the technique again, front snap kick, and strike. High punch, faking technique, thrust front snap kick to the body, return to the starting position, outside to inside, step in, and follow up with a backhand to the temple. Again, facing your partner, side kick to the body, back kick to the body, and back fist ridge hand. Once more, side kick, back kick, back fist, and ridge hand to the temple. So thrust the leg out, again thrusting outward. Once more, to the midsection, setting him up for a back kick to the midsection, backhand and ridge hand to the, either the side of the face or temple. Back fist, high punch, front kick, and spinning wheel kick. Once more, slow motion, backhand, high punch, front snap kick to the body, I settle downward and spinning wheel kick, jumping upward and 360 degrees all the way around. And again. So Mr. McMillan works with a backhand, punch, front snap kick, Jumping up, twisting the body, seeing where your opponent is, and follow through with the spinning wheel kick.
Hello, my name is Daniel M. Nolan. I am a six degree black belt in the art of Tang Sudo, Way of the China Hand. The following tapes took a lot of effort and concentration. In the tapes, you will learn basic movements, combination movements, one step fighting techniques, sparring stretching, self-defense, and of course the many numerous forms in Tang Sudo. I would like to stress the importance of the forms because they are the backbone of all martial arts systems. Each tape is designed to help you improve your technique or to even add on to your technique. It is my wish that you Follow the tapes very closely with safety in first all the time. Again, I wish to uh, thank all my students who helped me out in the tapes and those of you who are at home observing the tapes. Again, in your training, be very consistent and give it all the effort you can. Once more, I wish to thank you for observing my videotapes. And if you have any questions concerning Tang Zido, you can always contact me through Panther Productions. Come Samida. Tang Zido, Warm Ups and Conditioning, Volume 1, Stretching with a Partner, a Front Kick Up. Introducing Miss Irma Kiros and Mr. Jim Trussell. From the ready position, Mr. Trussell goes back and puts his right leg on his partner's left shoulder, stretching the right leg up while keeping his left leg flat on the floor. The leg is being stretched up and in a forward direction. Bending the knee and relaxing. Now starting with the left leg, front kick up stretch. Again the forward pull. keeping the base foot flat on the floor. Stretching with a partner, side kick up. Again with the right leg in a side kick position. The leg is being pushed up and pulled at the same time. Releasing the leg. Now working the left side. Keeping the base foot flat on the floor while the leg is being pulled. Moving on now to the lower back push stretch. Sitting on the floor with the legs out as far as possible. Your partner will push you forward on the lower portion of the back. Extending your arms out and then to the side.
and putting your chin to the floor. Feet together, push with a partner. Keeping your legs together and extended forward. Pushing your partner forward. Again, keeping the pushing movement very strong without a bouncing movement. Stretching the calf muscles and the thigh muscles. And now, again, reviewing what we have just done with your partner. Going back to the front kick-up stretch. Hands in a guard position. Base foot flat on the floor. Now with the opposite leg, the stretching technique is going up and forward. Continuing in the side kick stretch from the guard position. Once again, the side kick stretch. Emphasizing the knife edge of the foot. Dropping to the floor. Legs extended out. Pushing on the lower back. And putting the chin to the floor. Now bringing the legs together, again pushing on the lower back, stretching the lower back muscles as well as the legs. From the front stance, a front kick up with the knee. Introducing Mr. Ray Lawrence. From a front stance, bringing the right knee up to the right shoulder. <coughs> now working the left knee, touching the left shoulder. In slow motion, right knee comes up, touching the right shoulder from a front stance position. Keeping your back straight. Changing stance. And continuing bringing the left knee up touching the left shoulder, stretching the hamstring muscles. The front kick up, <coughs> knees touching the shoulder. Moving on to an inside to outside, again using the knee from the front stance. The knee comes up in a circular movement from the inside to the outside. <coughs> the 
left knee, same technique. In slow motion, right knee up, extending it around. Remaining in a front stance with your back straight. Extending the hip muscles. Changing stance. Bringing the knee up as high as you can take it. And your front foot is firmly planted on the floor. Again repeating, inside to outside with the right knee. <coughs> From the front stance, a front kick up stretching technique. The right leg is straight, and the right leg, again, working the muscles. With the left leg front kick up, leg is straight, and pull the toes back. In slow motion, working on elevation. The base foot is still firmly planted on the floor. Stretching the hamstring and calf muscles. Again changing stance. Left leg is straight as you are bringing it up. And then returning to the front stance. Once again, front kick up with the back leg, <coughs> changing and continuing, front kick up. <coughs> continuing in the front stance with an inside to outside stretch. Again, the back leg is straight and moving it around in a circular <coughs> movement. Again, the left leg, circular movement from the inside to the outside. <coughs> in slow motion, you can see how the hip is rotating. Put that rotating foot firmly on the floor before you begin again. Working on height and elevation. Changing stance. Eye contact is very important. Keep looking directly to the front. Rotating the hip from the inside to the outside. Back to regular speed. <coughs> Continuing in a front stance with a middle front snap kick. Again, Mr. Lawrence, 
demonstrating a front snap kick to the middle. The kicking knee comes up. Toes are back on the ball of the kicking foot. Directing your energy to the target. Slow motion, knee comes up. Leg extended out. And if you notice, there is a slight forward movement with the hips. Concentrating power in the ball of the foot. Changing stance, continuing. Knee comes up, extending the leg out. Returning to your starting position. And also keeping your hands up in a guard position. Back to regular <laughs> speed. Front snap kick. <coughs> Putting power and snap in the ball of the foot. <coughs> From the front stance, a high front snap kick. Continuing the same technique, but now striking higher to the chin level. Again, the knee has to come up. Pulling the toes back on the striking foot. In slow motion, knee comes up, extending the rest of the leg forward. and pulling the leg back, never dropping it back to the floor. Pull the leg back. Changing stance, again in slow motion, the front snap kick. Toes are pulled back and still assuming a guard position with the hands up. Back to regular speed. <coughs> Striking with the ball of the foot. Now, from the front stance, a review. Assuming the ready position, back with the right leg. Right knee comes up, touching the shoulder. <coughs> Same technique with the left knee. inside to outside with the right knee. <coughs> Loosening up the hip area with the left knee. <coughs> now reviewing a front kick up with the right leg. Continuing with the left, a front kick up stretch. Ah! 
inside to outside stretch, rotating the right hip around. <coughs> Left leg inside to outside stretch. <coughs> Front snap kick, bringing the knee up and pushing the hips forward just slightly. Again, front snap kick. High front snap kick. Extending the knee and hip forward. Striking with the ball of the foot. Assuming the ready position. Moving on now to basic movements of Tang Sado, the low block. From the front stance position, striking down. low defense or low block from a front stance. In slow motion from the ready position stepping in with the left low block, continuing forward with the right low block. Turning to my left, striking down, bringing the striking hand up to the opposite shoulder and down. striking with the closed part of the hand. Again stepping forward and snapping the technique downward, protecting the lower area of the body. Repeating, low block or low defense from the front view and the side view. Middle punch from a front stance. Stepping out with my right and then the left. Punching with the left, moving in with the right. In slow motion, pulling the hand back, extending the arm all the way out, keeping my hips and shoulders facing the front. Again pulling the hand all the way back before I step in. Back leg is straight while the front knee is bent. Stepping forward Striking the middle with the left hand.
going back to regular speed and now the opposite direction striking the target and returning to the ready position high punch front stance Now we're striking anywhere to the chin or even higher. And returning to the ready position. Slow motion, pulling the striking hand back. And right now I am striking to my chin level. Going back to the ready position. Turning to my left, again high punch, returning and stepping in with the right side, front stance, high punch. Returning to the ready position. Again repeating, snapping the arm outward, striking through the target. High block, front stance. Protecting the upper area of the body. blocking with the closed portion of the hand. Good. Twisting the hip, striking upward, locking in the back leg, front knee bent. High defense, protecting your head. Back leg is straight, front knee is still bent. Keeping your hips and shoulders straight. Once more, high block, stepping in with the left, now the right. Returning, going to my left side, coming back to the ready position and moving out on my right side. High defense, or high block. Middle block, front stance. Left arm under, blocking across with the forearm. Stepping out, now the right forearm. Going to the right, right arm, left arm, middle block. From a slow motion position, twisting the hip, moving that blocking arm across. Right arm under, bringing it across. under as I bring it around, twisting the hip, follow through with that right forearm. Stepping out with the right side, dropping my blocking arm under the right arm, bringing it across. regular speed, 
Emphasis is on the hip, putting the power in the block from the hip. Spear hand attack in a front stance. Stepping in with the left, fingers extended out and together. Center of the chest is the striking area. Slow motion, pulling the left hand back, stepping in with the left, striking with the fingertips. To my left side, pulling the left hand back, striking, right hand striking out, pulling the striking hand back, opening the hand just before you hit the target. Repeating again, left, right spear hand to my left. Again in a front stance. Low cross block, continuing in a front stance. Pulling the hands to the right side of the body striking downward and always keeping the right wrist above the left wrist no matter what side you pull the hands back to protecting against a possible low kick again right wrist on top pulling to the left side right wrist still on top Turning to the left, again striking downward, and stepping in on my right side, low cross block. Once again, snapping the technique downward, pulling back, and down. Middle cross block from a front stance. Hands are open. Elbows slightly bent, blocking the middle area. Hands are closed as you pull back to the right side, then open to the middle. Keeping the elbows slightly bent and the fingertips near the shoulder area as far as height goes. Pulling back, blocking outward, middle cross block, open hands. Repeating, blocking outward, snapping the technique, and 
returning to the ready position. High cross block, open hands. Blocking upward and high enough so you can still see between the arms. Protecting the upper area of the body. In slow motion, hands are closed. Open as you block upward. Returning to the left hip, blocking upward again. To my left side, high cross block, open hands. Hands are closed as I come back, open as I block upward. Keeping the fingers together, protecting the upper area of the body, high cross block. In regular speed again, snapping the technique, protecting against a possible downward strike to the head. Moving on to the elbow smash. Chopping and then hitting with the back elbow. Pseudo strike, again pseudo and strike. Pseudo is the Korean term for open hand. In slow motion, striking then hitting, striking, and follow up with the reverse elbow. Bringing the elbow directly across in the front stance. Moving in with my right side, strike, and hit. My front knee is bent, back leg is still straight. Regular speed again, elbow smash. To my left, again putting the hip into the technique. Twisting the hip and strike. Now moving on to the elbow attack. Striking up now with the tip of the elbow. Bringing the elbow up and underneath the target. In slow motion, pulling the right hand back, striking directly upward, following up with the left elbow directly upward. To my left side, striking up, locking in the back leg with the front knee bent. Generating power from the hips and striking the target with the tip of the elbow. Striking up right and then left elbow. Putting the hip into the technique. high palm attack in the front stance. 
striking now with the palm of the hand or the heel of the hand to the face or chin area. Pulling the fingers back and slightly bent, but you are striking with the palm of the hand. Keeping my thumb on the inside of the hand and the fingers together and bent slightly. This attack is directed either to the chin or anywhere to the face. Snapping the technique out. Again, putting the hip into the movement. Regular speed high palm attack. Going back to my ready position. Now moving on to a middle palm attack. Striking lower than the high palm strike midsection or even upper chest. Again, the hip goes into each movement. Pulling the hand back, striking outward, fingers pulled back just slightly and bent. Middle palm strike, again to the chest area. Extending the hip and shoulder forward. Returning to regular speed. Snapping the technique out. And as you strike with one hand, pull the other hand back just as quickly. Finger attack to the throat. Pulling the striking hand back. Fingers extended out, and the target is the throat area. Twisting my hips just slightly into the technique. In slow motion, pulling the attacking hand back, striking to the throat, twisting the hip. Striking upward, under the chin, and to the throat. Again, this technique requires a snap from the hip. Regular speed again, locking the hip and back leg, snapping the technique to the target, finger attack to the throat. Low finger attack. Same technique, however, striking low this time. Palm is upward. 
twisting the hip and the shoulder into the technique. Low finger tack, lower midsection or groin area. Twisting the hip. Snapping downward. Left hand low finger tack. Moving in now with the right hand. Returning to regular speed. Snapping to go through the target, not just to hit it. Reverse middle punch from the front stance. Pulling the striking hand back. So as I step in with my left, I'm striking with the right. Punch with the right, stepping in with the left. In slow motion. Keeping the back straight, emphasizing going through the target on the reverse punch. Pulling the hand all the way back, extending the shoulder and hip, and again keeping my back straight. Striking with the left, and Reverse punch with the right. Back to regular speed. Reverse punch. Reverse with the left. Back is straight. Thinking about going through the target. Reverse high punch from the front stance. Moving in, striking the chin area with a reverse punch. Same te technique as applied to the reverse middle punch. Pulling the striking hand back. Punching to the chin level or even higher. From the front stance, front knee bent, back leg locked in. Stepping into the target, reverse high punch. Back to regular speed, twisting the hip, snapping the uniform in the process. The ridge hand strike from the front stance. Pulling the attacking hand back. Striking with the first knuckle of the forefinger to the temple area. Snapping slightly through. In slow motion, pulling the hand back. Slight circle on the attack. And the target is the temple or side of the head. Slight twist of the hand as I bring it around. Fingers together with the thumb on the inside of the hand.
Regular speed again. Ridge hand to the temple. Snapping the movement out. And keeping my front knee bent with the back leg straight. I hope you observe watching the following videotape. Again, uh, with any videotape, whether it is Tong Sado or any other martial art, supplement that tape with your existing knowledge in the martial arts. Again, keep in mind that uh, when you're practicing this martial art or any martial art, safety should always come first. So hopefully you will, again, continue your study of Tong Sado through the videotapes, but remember, it is most important to train in a studio or a dojang. Uh, nothing can supplement your training better than in a dojang, but hopefully these tapes that you have just observed will increase your knowledge in the art of Tong Sido. Again, I wish you the best of luck in all your martial arts training, and if you ever have to get in touch with me, you can do so through Panther Productions. Consumida.